What's up guys, it's your boy the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi Banger video. Today guys, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a special treat challenge for you guys. You have guys haven't seen a challenge on my channel in a while, but this right here is the world's smallest frog. So that was the world's smallest frog right here, compared to the 10,000 fish tataki frog. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting challenge today guys. I hope you guys are ready for this and I'll see you guys on the water. Oh. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro, that little quick bit. I want to say a quick shout out to today's sponsor for the video is going to be Shop Carls. So if you guys haven't already checked them out, do me a favor, go check out Shop Carls. If you guys want to save up to 40, 50, even 60% of all your gear, especially with the holiday coming up, you're going to get an awesome deal if you sign up for Shop Carls membership. They have this essentially free 30 day trial. If you use code HUNTERFISH10, you will get $10 off your first order of $25 or more. But the first 30 days you will get for free if you are a new customer. And that means you get free shipping. Free Free discounts, you will make back, you will essentially save the money that you would spent on a membership in those first 30 days. Because whenever I first signed up for my first 30 days, I can't even tell you how long ago that was now. It's probably like two or three years now. And I probably saved about roughly 60, 70 because I made like a lot of orders. Because I really wanted to save a bunch of money on my orders. So I saved essentially what I would have had to pay for a membership for a whole year. So I definitely recommend you guys go in to check out Shop Carls. It's a great deal if you guys haven't already. Do me a favor, go use code HunterFish10. You'll get $10 on any orders as long as it's over $25. Also, if you guys haven't already, go use my Mr. Tackle Box code, Hunter Fish. You'll get your first Mr. Tackle Box for as low as $10. But I want to say thank you again to Shop Girls for sponsoring today's video. All right, none of, none of that. But we are going to be talking about the world's smallest frog today. So this is actually a handmade frog. I believe the gentleman is from Thailand. If he watches this, please correct me. I don't know where you're from exactly. I know that I had a friend through Instagram. If you guys haven't already checked out some of the BFS fishermen on Instagram, let me see if I can get that to focus. It's so small, I can't even focus so if you guys haven't already checked out a bunch of BFS anglers on Instagram we have a couple of people like sticky rice all them the specific guy who sent me these frogs which by the way there's more than one specific guy who sent me these frogs is anorak season so that's a n o r a k underscore s c z s c z wait hold up s c z n and if you guys do me a favor go follow him he would probably really appreciate it especially with how he sent me these I didn't pay for anything he was just a really nice dude who sent me these it's definitely appreciated so these right here is I think he called these the frog at is because these are now available on bait finesse empire which by the way guys i recently just got a new referral code from bait finesse empire it always supports me when you guys use my codes or anything like that but i will have a link at the top of my description underneath the shop carl's link so that you guys can go and check out bait finesse empire and whenever you guys go pick up anything from them it just essentially rewards me uh it's anyone can really do it from what I understand, but I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the frogs. They have these frogs, they have these bigger frogs. So I have an Instagram post. I might throw it up on the screen here in a minute just to show you guys what the different size frogs look like. That was the smallest frog I've showed you. And then here's the second smallest, then there's the third smallest, and then there's the fourth smallest. So this frog right here is actually a frog from Bait Finesse Empire, but it looks similar to these frogs. So they all are a special type of frog with the little essentially Colorado spinner on the back. And that Colorado spinner essentially puts out thump just like a whopper plopper would but it's tiny so that means you can catch tiny fish and you guys know me I catch tiny fish so if I can get better at catching tiny fish it's game over so I am ready very much ready to do a video today guys uh, I also will have to pull an audible if it's too chilly because right now we had a cold front roll through it's cool if it's too chilly we're doing a little micro Texas reaction if it's too chilly. But right now, I don't think we're have to. Uh, I think frogging season's already here. I think it's been here. It's Florida. You can catch frogs. You can catch frog frogs. <laughs> you can catch frogfish in the middle of January in Florida. It makes no sense. It's enough talk about frogging and doing that stuff today. I'm gonna get out to the water. We're gonna do a little bit of pond hopping and see what we can do. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, guys, we just pulled up to a spot. This is a new spot I have never tried before. Uh, it looks okay. It's very pressured, obviously. It's a part. And I just wanted to try something different between, besides my usual, like, easy going spot for challenges. Because I just wanted to see if this spot was halfway decent. I see somebody fishing, I think. Yeah, there's a kid fishing over here. That's cool. Also, guys, I want to say a uh, shout out to Be Fresh Gear. Uh, they sent me a shirt and one of their a pair of their sunglasses. I was going to put out a video with their pair of their sunglasses, but I just didn't work. I didn't like the video, so. 
little the, one of their bill hats they have a ton of cool sunglasses i really vibe with their sunglasses i also vibe with their fanny packs i really want to try one of them water resistant fanny packs because your boy does not like carrying a lot of fishing stuff with him at once because i hate big backpacks i hate backpacks in general shout out to them Let's get to fishing. I'm hope, hoping that it's going to be at least halfway decent today. It might be a little tough because it's like 60, 70 degrees right now. Send it. All right, guys, pull up to the spot. It's a little bright. A lot of spider webs. I'm not vibing with the spider webs. I'm trying to find a spot where I can work on my casting. Oh, it's so muddy. Why is it so muddy? Oh, it's very muddy. Why is it so muddy? Oh, I'm not vibing with this mud right now. Oh, this mud's nasty, and it's cold. Oh. All right, I think this should be a good spot to start casting. All right, this ought to be interesting casting. I literally have a 0.8 gram frog on. Oh, let's try working that in though. Using six pound braid, guys. Six pound braid, no leader, no nothing. To cast this thing. Let's turn down these brakes. That might be a little too much. Oh, we are not gonna get good casting distance with this thing. I got a feeling. I'm down to four right now. Holy crap. Okay, we're getting better. We're getting better. That's much better. If I just kept my thumb on this, will that even be better than what I got? Kind of hoping I catch a bluegill on it, but I think I've got it about dialed in. Almost there. I could probably go up one. Yeah, let's try it up one. Definitely glad I have this reel to do it because uh, I would not be able to get this video done <laughs> without it. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just about dialed in to where it's not gonna be awful. Yeah, almost dialed in. Let's go up one. I think I went down three before this. All this mud's really annoying though, I'll tell you that is that much. I don't wanna get over to the bridge over there, but it's gonna be an awkward casting. I am all sorts of messed up right now. Get this thing out of here. I also might try the bigger frogs here in a little bit. Let us get out of this mud. That's an explosion. Yeah, these fish are pressured. Yep, this spot ain't worth it. I'm gonna move on to the next spot. Spot where I have a little bit more confidence in. Which I kind of feel bad for doing, because like, you know, you know how I am guys. Like, I don't really like to use the same spots in all my videos and do the same challenges at the same spots repetitively, you know, doing the same thing. But yeah, I just kind of want to move on to the next spot and this is a spot I have more confidence in but granted i haven't been there in like two weeks so that's my reasoning behind it because i haven't visited long enough oh, there's a fish but yeah let me move on to the next spot <clears throat> oh dang it's very slippery very very slippery <laughs> oh I'm freaking covered in mud dang it oh oh I didn't think that was gonna work that was sick. That was so sick. <laughs> How do you drain a frog like this? <laughs> Oh, dang it. Almost had one.
Dang, man. That was the second strike. I just can't hook up with it. Oh. I'm glad I came here, though. Because this is exactly what would be perfect for it. Dang it. Oh, man, another one. Oh, that was a bigger one, too. Jeez, man. This frog does not hook up at all. You got to... You got to really, you got to set the hook instantly. I'm figuring that one out the hard way. God, he was right there. I don't know if he'll hit again, but we'll find out. Jesus. Oh my God, I hope I got that one camera. Finally, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, finally. Did I get that on video? Oh, I did. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh my gosh, guys. Y'all don't understand how long I've been fishing today to catch this one little fish. I've had four different blow ups before this fish and that was like an hour ago now. But now I'm finally on them. Finally on them. Let's freaking go, guys. Finally, okay. All right, guys, I'll let the fish go. Uh, my GoPro was about to die, so I was just trying to hurry up and get them out of here. And I was trying to flip through recordings. I ran out of SD card space, whatever. But we are going to pretty much call it because I have been struggling to catch even one fish this whole time. And that one fish, I honestly want to just call it on that because literally it has been a freaking struggle bus all day. And I do not want to fish anymore. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to fish all the way back and then call it a day because your boy is exhausted and really honestly kind of annoyed not gonna lie i'm really annoyed because my bait cast has been acting up all day and with this like i light lure i know yeah bait casters aren't good lord dude see this is what i'm talking about it like gets wrapped around my tip for some reason this like braid is like really thin and i'm assuming that what but yeah you get the point I've just been struggling all day and I would like to get out of here now. <laughs> so I'll see you guys at the truck probably as soon as possible. All right, guys, that has been a long day. I've been fishing for like four hours now and it's been middle of the day. It's two o'clock right now. It sucked. This whole day sucked. <laughs> it was so hard. I visited three different spots. I ate crap at the second spot and I just face planted in some mud at a river. I have probably gonna include it in the video because today was just chaotic. It was, it is overall it did suck just because it's been a very long day. Scientists are making every day. Excuse me, sorry. Overall, the little frog, honestly, for as much as it weighs and for how small it is, I honestly think it's a pretty decent frog it's the world's smallest functioning frog that's for sure and it catches fish and that has been affirmed i had four blow ups in total and one fish caught i will say the only thing is, is it's hard to hook up with a fish but that's really not because of the design of the frog it's because of the size of the hook so i will point that out but if you guys want to do me a favor and go check out those frogs at bait finesse empire it actually will earn me rewards whenever you guys go hit that up because there is now something called bfe bucks which is essentially bait finesse empire reward system so if you guys go order any of those micro gear from bait finesse empire definitely go check it out because a lot of your micro gear that i can that i've been using and i've been ordering is from is available from bait finesse empire uh it's not available from shop crawls unfortunately but if you guys haven't already go check out shop crawls as well review of the frog is good i haven't tested out the other frogs but i'm looking forward to i didn't really want to test out the frogs in today's video just because it's not the smallest frog and i don't want to be catching fish on not the smallest frog so i kind of committed to the bit today and uh it sucked. It, it, it definitely sucked. It was not fun. Uh, I 10 out of 10 would not do again. Um, that's as far as how I feel about the frog. I definitely do think it's a cool little thing. It's a novelty item for sure to me. But if you have like, if you, if you ever want to throw that on fly, I bet that would probably kill it on fly because that is like pretty cool how I was able to cast that today and get bit on it. So I would say definitely if you guys are a fly fisherman wanting to try a little bit of a like frog style fly, I definitely could see that working better on fly rod because you could probably get a lot more distance. And to be honest, there's no spinning gear you can throw this as much as well as I did with 
bait casting gear, especially with the windy day today, there was no way that anyone could have comp competed with a bait caster on that one. Uh, just, I don't see it happening. If you have like the world's most micro, it's micro spinning gear, maybe. That's a maybe. And that's like impossible nowadays. Most likely Brembuster, Fly Rod, Tinkara, stuff like that. That would have been what would have been the ticket today. So if you guys want to go to pick one up, Bay Finesse Empire helps me out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I've been a little bit struggling to come up with good video ideas because I've been kind of not feeling my own videos lately. Uh, they were kind of repetitive and I don't like it. I've been doing like, oh, uh, I went and caught a five on like someone like whatever I did, that's cool. But I just didn't vibe with how the outro looked and everything. I kind of do better when I'm on my own, I've learned, which is kind of funny. You'll see more videos coming here soon. If you guys haven't already, Go check out all my links in the description. Always helps me out. Helps me getting closer to go full-time. I want to go full-time with this. So help me out, guys. Let's upload more videos this holiday season because you guys deserve that kind of Christmas gift. Without further ado, make sure you guys are catching fish. If it's if you aren't, what are you doing? Go catch some fish. That's what you got to do. And fall season will be good. So yeah, definitely go spend some time outside and go catch some fish. And remember, guys, fish for me.